Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. This is my sixth day of my New Year's application when I decided to record in every day since the 1st of January some videos. So, and I'm continue reading novel, visual novel, trick or treat. Yeah, uh, a brief uh, introduction of previous two chapters. It was about friends who decided to uh, check their courage uh, in the dark uh, forest uh, until mid uh, after midnight uh, uh, in uh, the hello if uh, and uh, they met uh, some strange straight cat uh, who probably was uh, cursed uh, by witches uh, of this wood uh, far far years ago a, a long time ago yeah, so I'm a little bit under the weather today, so I decided to to record this video earlier than usual. So it's like my warm up for my brains and uh, activities. I just uh, can't start to do anything today. I don't know what. Maybe because it's um, Sunday, lazy day. I'm not sure. So let's start. I was completely confused, not knowing how much time had passed. My head turned, uh, hurts like hell, but I can't blame it. Fortun fortunately, the pain goes away quickly, just as my confusion. Soon I come back to my senses. My flashlight is lying on the ground, shining towards the empty air. I immediately picked it up, it was my only protection against the darkness that surrounds me. Then I remember that Steven and Alfred were with me. Yeah, where, where are they going? Why are they gone? Why they left him? Steven, Alfred, can you hear me? Axel says. Without thinking I scream uh, their names in the dark while trying to find them with my flashlight. But there is no trace of them. They are gone. Yeah. Surely it's strange to left your friend uh, uh, among the forest alone and... Uh, it doesn't matter happen happened it uh, during the day or night. Uh, it's always dangerous. Why the hell are they? And what the heck just happened? I really don't understand anything. Shit, we should have stayed at home. This is not a proof of courage. We could be in danger. Yeah, I told that. That is a bad idea. But if they chose to go s and join some party, then this dark forest. Useless. Useless idea. I have to find them. 2.19 a.m. Little time has passed since I started to look for my friends, and I already can't stand this place. I'm going crazy in this forest, the, the darkness that covers it is an, an eternal, a natural. It is a darkness that steals your own san sanity, replacing it with anxiety. To make it worse, uh, the air is damp and cold as in winter, carrying a strong road smell. I think there were compressed of animals hidden throughout the forest. The atmosphere in this place is oppres oppressive. With every step you take, it makes you more uncomfortable. Since, since I started to look for my friends, I felt that something is watching me, but there is nothing. I sighed with my voice full of fr frustration. I just want to get out of here. I continue walking devoid of any hope. No matter where I look, or how much I walk, I find nothing. I cannot even hear the sounds of animals. Rather, it seems they are already dead and rotten. Axel, no, I had no calm myself. 
I said to myself. I stopped for a moment to rest. I breathe deeply, but the rotten air of this place does me no good. No good. Immediately, I started to cough, cough uh, as if I had uh, something stuck in my throat. <sighs> oh, what I'm going to do? This cursed forest seems endless, and even if by miracle I couldn't escape, I cannot abandon Stephen and Alfred. But they. They've done it. They abandoned you. Why can you do the same thing? Why don't can you do the same? I'm really screwed up. Again, I sighed, feeling on the verge of tears. Verge of tears. My frustration is building up, but I have to do my best to keep calm. If I fall into despair. Then there is no doubt I will be joining the li li list of missing persons. Yeah, or oh, it already done your friends. In the end, I decided to keep walking. Step by step, I should get somewhere. At least I was convinced uh, that staying in the same place would not do me my any good, even if it was only. To de deceive myself, feeling that I am doing something, I wanted to continue walking. Time passes without any changes. Only the sound of my footsteps can be heard. Knowing that as soon as uh, you stop, you will be surrounded by a dead silence, is a good incen incentive to keep walking. But my legs were already hurting. Suddenly, I hear a crack at my feet. Instantly, I take a step back and、uh, look below to see what made that sound. Axel, what is this? I whispered to myself, surprised, discovering that I had stepped on animal bone. I believe that、uh, it's from an animal. Also, I didn't throw out the. Possibility that it belongs to a person, but for my own good, I prefer not to think about it. An expression of anxious anguish is drawn on my face. So, someone uh, uh, was hiding uh, uh, between those trees, probably bushes, and、uh, secretly watching them. It is best to ignore it. I have to keep walking. Oh, about、uh, ambition! I read one interesting psychological fact that even when、uh, people sleep,、uh, they could feel uh, if uh, someone stare at him. So it's uh, like uh, a psychological proved fact. I, I don't know how they checked it, but it's、uh, really interesting. Suddenly, my flashlight reveals something. Without hesitation, I point toward there again. Wow,、well, what's happened? It's a cat. Only to realize,、uh, with the surprise, it is a white cat. It's the same cat which you scared them before. But it's sleep now. It's sleeping now peacefully. Or maybe it's died. Dead cat, the one from before, which made that awful mew. But this time, I find it lying on the ground. It appears to be faint,、uh, and it is wounded. Yeah. Then what should I do? Well, I can pick a, an action. Ignore the cat. Pick her up. Why should I pick this dead animal up? It's strange. I never do it、uh, in real life, so I will ignore the cat. It is best to continue without walking here. That cat is dangerous. It's her fault that I ended up in this place and my friends are missing. I don't know what else、uh, what cat is capable of doing, so I decided it's better to leave it behind. 
continue walking. This is seven a.m. Wow, oh, actually, it is uh, Johnny, so maybe I should uh, pick this cat up. Maybe next step, uh, if uh, uh, they propose me something, I will do opposite uh, actions, uh, opposite of my inner uh, mood and inner thoughts, uh, and uh, actually my real actions uh, in life. So. Next time I will pick up this cat. I soon lost the sight of the cat. Once more I find myself in the dark forest, walking aimlessly, only moving forward, but it didn't seem I was getting somewhere. Who? Boy, come here. Here you will be safe. I suddenly stop. It was probably easy to see the uh, disbeliefs on my face at that moment. Axel, is that voice again? I whispered to myself with no one to listen to me. Shortly after I got away from the cat, a mysterious voice appeared in my mind. It is a feminine voice, soft and gentle, as if it belonged to a princess from a fairy tale. How can you know the voice of princess from ta fairy tale? Usually, fairy tales is printed on some books, so you can hear any voices from from a book. It's only your imagination. I imagine yourself a uh, voice of uh, princess from fairy tale, like uh, voice of uh, grandma grandma who uh, um, behave as a witch and curse uh, surround uh, everything which appeared on her way. So. It's my imagination, so I can uh, imagine this voice very ugly. But I can trust it. Am I really going crazy, or is it this forest that doesn't make any sense? I don't know, but I don't like any of the two options. Voice. Probably it's voice. Boyer, I don't know. Don't be afraid, come with me. I will help you. Don't go with it. Every time the voice is heard more clearly, stranger and more often. She seems to be leading me somewhere. It does not inspire me with confidence, but uh, between the voice and staying here in this par patriot forest, uh, it seems to have no end. I choose to follow it. Why? Why did you? Oh. The moon. Shortly after, I arrived to a clearing, clearing in the forest. At last, I can see the night sky. The full moon shines, allegedly, surrounded by a blanket of darkness and stars. A beautiful Im image, but there is something strange in it. Excellent. How weird! Was there a half moon tonight? I said to myself as I look at the moon and try to remember a vague memory in my mind. Anyway, it's not important. Uh, the moon will not come to save me. Really. Now it changed. Now it's like uh, only a slight of the moon. Allowing my sight, uh, it was in that I noticed there was a cabin in the clearing. Wow. It was hidden under the shade of the trees nearby, so I didn't see it before, I think. Yeah. Or maybe it's your imagination. The cabin looks old and worn down, even depressing, but uh, if I'm lucky, there may be someone there. Yeah. Maybe if it's covered, uh, if it's surrounded with uh, wild plants, uh, and uh, there is no trail for for the enter of this cabin, uh, probably you will be lucky to find someone here. Voice, open the drawer. I'm waiting for you, my knight. Suddenly, I hear the voice again. It was in this cabin, no doubt. Somehow, 
her voice sounds different this time. It has an ex explicable kindness, even love. I feel as, as if I were a man returning home to see his wife. After thinking about it for a moment, I can help but laugh at myself. Axel, how silly I must be really losing my mind. I said as a joke, hiding my anxiety with humor. In any case, there is nothing else for me than to open the door. However, I can stop thinking that I'm forged forgetting something. My hand then slowly opens uh, the door of the cabin. Wow, completely darkness. What awaits uh, me there is something that leaves me perplexed. The bodies of the five missing people were hanging as if they were puppets. With empty eyes, but all of them are facing me, and between them is a woman with a big smile. I opened my eyes wide with amazement, and my lips got dry. Finally, I remembered to what I was forgotten when it was too late. Voice, thank you for saving me by giving me your life, says the voice with an in indescribable love but announcing my horrible destiny. It's true, Matthew disappeared in a clearing without any trace. I have no breeze to speak, I just know that we can add someone more to the list. So, wow, she killed him. Wow, unexpected ending. Yeah, it was funny. I, I didn't expect uh, for this end. So what happened with his friends? I can't understand it. Probably I should uh, pick up those cat and maybe it's it's his saber. Maybe it's good character actually. It's not a witch. Cat is like uh, uh, his bodyguard in this game. Who knows this story? So he left the cat. It was wounded, wounded, uh, probably bleeding, and uh, maybe if uh, he picked it up, uh, he will save cat life, and uh, maybe it will protect uh, him after, after what? Who knows? Probably I should uh, uh, return to this option and uh, try again. Yeah, so this was one of the possible ends of this trick or treat story. Yeah, it's actually it was a little bit fascinating with this uh, music in the background, I like this music. So, oh, a good story. What, what can I say t uh, else? See in the next video what could be happened if I picked up this cat. Maybe we we will have a more uh, optimistical ending. Who knows? See you. Bye.